Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Doge Clips. It is February 11th. If you're watching this video right now, that's when it's recorded. So the other day a friend of mine shows me a transaction in his wallet. He says, hey, you ever seen anything like this? So I look at it and at first I'm like, oh yeah, I've, I've heard about these. It's called a dust attack. Okay, so um, if you're not familiar with what a dust attack is, it's basically when some hacker sends a little bit of Bitcoin to a wallet address. Usually it's like 10 or 20 cents or something. And then they basically track that, where that dust is spent, to try to form a uh, a portfolio, I guess you could say, um, of a person or a company to see what other addresses he has, how much Bitcoin he has, and then they try to social engineer him, I guess, to try to steal that Bitcoin. That's what hackers do in a dust attack situation. At least that's the goal. Okay, the, the odd thing about this, which right away I noticed, is it's 17 Bitcoin, which at the time... which at the time is $33,000. So it's $578,000 uh, spent on one transaction on February 1st. There is no hacker on the planet, um, in my opinion, that would spend $578,000 of his stolen money um, on a dust attack. So this automatically piques my interest. So I go down a rabbit hole for a few hours the other night. Um, I Google the uh, the price, and I come across a bunch of Reddit forums. Um, and basically, uh, come to find out there's a message <laughs> in the actual transaction. So let's go back to it. And I'll read that to you. It says, let's use the full power of anonymity. <laughs> excuse me. I see memo.sv. I can never say that word, so. Anonymity. Anonymity. Okay. So I'm not going to try that again. I won't, I won't uh, torture you with my pronunciations. But anyway, so if you look <clears throat> at the uh, transaction again, here it is. And here's what's being read. So there is a message in the first six addresses. But $578,000 relay that message in the blockchain still seems fishy so I dig a little deeper come across this article evidently this they've done this for the past six months spent over one billion dollars in dust thousands of bitcoins to relay that message I, I don't understand this so this is why I'm making this video I need your help it can't be a hacker. No way it's a hacker, right? And then I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe it's um, maybe it's the government. You know, I'm thinking maybe the government's behind it. I don't know. Um, maybe they're trying to track addresses. Would the government spend over a billion dollars to try to track addresses? Maybe. Uh, from everything I'm I'm reading though, it looks like it's just that message to get you to go to a website called Memo.sv. Um, the man behind that website is named Jason Shivanis, I believe. I'm not going to butcher his name, but uh, this guy. So he owns Memo.sv, evidently. But to spend over a billion dollars, actually, they've already done. It's multiple articles are saying it's at least a billion, and I've seen articles as high as 1.5 billion. Just to put that in perspective, he could have bought every Super Bowl. There's only between 40 and 50 Super Bowl commercials in Super Bowl 55 that just was played between Kansas City and uh, Tampa. He could have bought every one of those commercials for one-fourth of this. It would have been like $278 million. They charge like $5, $5 million and change per 30-second spot. There's 40 to 50. Let's say 50. Okay, let's say five million at fifty. It's uh, you know two hundred and fifty million dollars. One fourth he could have owned every Super Bowl commercial to get the same message across. So that's why I, I can't see. And then you go to this crappy social network, and this is what you see. Okay, and then you go to the topic he talks about. This this is in the message. Is H M. Um, oh, basically that stands for how much would you donate uh, anonymously. That's basically what this message. That's what those. That's what that acronym means. 
how much would you donate anonymously? Now I'm all for donating. I'm all for cool messages. I'm all for cool advertising. But a billion dollars? And, I mean, to have that kind of money just to spend on this kind of advertising is sickening. And then you come to this site, and this is what you get. I mean, all the links to this stuff will be in my, dis in my description of this video. But I need your help here, folks. I need you to share this video because just it's something doesn't seem right. I mean, they spent half a million dollars, $578,000 just on this one transaction. I mean, that's insane money to get you to go to this, this website. I don't know, man. I don't know. So I need you to share this video, comment in the comment section, um, like all that stuff. Because this is baffling me. I have no idea why somebody would spend that kind of money. I mean, this guy could have fixed Flint, Waters, Michigan, Flint, <laughs> Flint, Michigan's water. He could have done a bunch of good with that money. And instead, he sends a dust. Um, I don't know, man. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, this is baffling me. I went down a rabbit hole for probably two to three hours. And I had to stop because it just... Um, when you see what's going on in the world and you see stuff like this, I, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. So, again, was this for... Anonymity. <laughs> or for something sinister or uh, evil? I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of money, guys. Billion dollars. That's not play money. I mean, I can't even see a guy like Bezos doing something like that. You know? And uh, to, to do this, just so you get this message across... Or, and you have to figure this out to decipher it. I don't consider this genius advertising. I consider it a waste of money. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, so, I don't see anybody really talking about this. I see people talking about dust attacks. Um, but, you know, like, what's the messaging behind it? Like, I mean, and when I say I don't see anybody talking about this, I don't see anybody talking about this on YouTube, I should say. Which is why I want to make the video. There are people talking about it on Reddit. And people talking about it here. On this great website, memo.sv. Um, I mean, yeah, they should have spent some of that money on uh, making this site decent, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, but instead, they just wanted to get the message of anonymity across and spend over $1 billion confirmed. Confirmed $1 billion. Some reports as high as $1.5 billion. Um, I mean, buy every Super Bowl ad. You could have gave the NFL probably 300, 400 million, and they gave you the entire show. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. Sorry, guys. I just, I, I don't mean to run on about this, but this truly baffles me. There are things in this world that baffle me, and this is one of them. Um, I just don't get it. I don't know what to do here with this. So, I'm at a loss. I'm asking for your help. Share this video, and then um, post a comment on what you think. Do you really think this is just unique advertising? I mean, that's what it all looks like. But a billion dollars? Wow. This is insane. But I want everyone um, to know I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. The videos will get better. Um, you know, but if you see... Uh, let me know in the comments, too, if you have any transactions like this in your wallet. I don't, but my friend showed me this, and I, evidently this is a thing that's happened for the past six months from just this one company. But if you do see a small amount that's not, you know, like this, with a message in it, be very careful, because that means somebody's probably trying to reverse, I call it reverse engineering, but social engineering, to find out your other wallet addresses. So uh, if you don't know what a dust attack is, at least you learned that today, uh, you can go into your wallet and then look for these little... Uh, dust transactions that have been sent to your wallet um tell me what you find i'm curious to hear your stories uh again i don't know how easy it is to map all this out once you send dust but evidently hackers are using this um this dust attack as they call it to uh to hack people or to at least social engineer them or something reverse engineer them um, oh yeah, this was the, uh, all these links will be in the description of the video, but this is where I got the numbers for the Super Bowl commercials. Uh, there's normally 40 to 50 and they're at an average cost of 5.6.
Um, I put the number into a calculator, and, and I think it was $278 million. Would have got you every commercial if there was 50 at $5.6 million. So that was where I, I had that pulled up. Um, and I don't know who this guy is, but if he can spend a billion dollars on that kind of funky advertising, this is a powerful mofo, folks. So you might want to check out his crappy little memo.sv website <laughs> and let me know what you think. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe put your address in there. Maybe he'll send you some dust. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a great night. I will have another video here shortly. Uh, I'm going to talk more, I guess, about about this in the future because, like I said, on YouTube, there's no videos regarding this. And I, I, at some point, if he keeps doing this, I mean, I don't know how much money this guy has. Uh, but if he spends another billion dollars over the next six months, the news is going to eventually take notice of this. And this is definitely going to go viral. So maybe that's the plan. Spend $2 billion on the hope um, you get some 15 minutes of fame. Mm. I mean, do you remember back in the day when Yahoo just ran a couple commercials during the Super Bowl? I forget how many it was. But that blew their company up through the roof. And I think they only ran like three or four commercials. Yahoo! I don't know. If, I'm old. But if you guys remember that, think what this guy could have done uh, with $100 million. Just $100 million during the Super Bowl with something like the anonymity thing. <laughs> with something like the... Anonymity. Thing. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, now I'm, I'm really leaving this time. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Videos will get better. Sorry for my ums and my uh, run-ons. But, man, uh, this stuff is confusing to me, and I need your help. So I'm looking forward to your comments. Please share the video uh, because the more people we get commenting on this, maybe we can uh, brainstorm and kind of figure this out because there's something going on with this, and I just haven't been able to figure it out yet. I don't think this is just an advertising ploy. I just don't. Uh, and I hope it's not something sinister where they're trying to track addresses or whatever. But does this mean Bitcoin SV is a good investment? Because evidently this Memo SV guy, Memo.SV uh, owner, Jack, I mean, sorry, Jason Shivanis, whatever his name is, Memo.SV, Jason Shivanis. Evidently he's a huge Bitcoin SV fan. So is he trying to pump Bitcoin SV? I don't know. Maybe Bitcoin SV is going to blow up soon, guys. Maybe we keep an eye on that. Maybe this is a sinister plot to pump and dump Bitcoin SV. Maybe that's the plan. Or maybe uh, Jason here is a uh, government operative, and they're coming for you uh, with a. They're going to spend uh, 1.1 billion dollars <laughs> to track you down, you Bitcoin uh, hodlers. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, it's getting late. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Uh, but I might do another video on this. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. See you later.